Hi, today we're going to talk about a Chinese pen, the Wing Sung 220. Hi, so we're going to talk about another Chinese pen this week. This is a Wing Sung I bought from some local stationery store for like 22 Hong Kong dollars, which is what? 250 US dollars. It is of metal construction, however compared to other pens, it is slightly thinner and it's also light for like a metal pen. Gold plate and nib and the filling system is another one of those squeezy aerometric designs which I have filled with Pelican Edelstein Aventurine. Size-wise, uh, some reason the only pens I have to compare here are this random Bauer I bought also on the side of the street but in China and a maybe Todd Swan. It's size wise it's fairly same but you can see that it's pretty much the same length except that this is slightly slimmer than the other two. That's all it is. Also lighter surprisingly but you can also hear it like for example the Bauer it's thick metal body. This, you can hear the thinner. You can feel that the construction of the body itself is of much thinner metal. It's not a bad thing, it still feels very very sturdy. It's not gonna break and it's much lighter for like a metal bodied pen. There's nothing special about it, let's be honest, but it writes a fine line which I will demonstrate now. This is a I'm never going to remember these model names. 220. So this is a Wing Sung. Whoops. 220. Numbers really don't make a difference. It has a little bit of spring, just like many other Chinese pens. And you can sort of see it. I can demonstrate it a bit further by light you can get a little this is a pelican Edelstein Aventurine it's a green ink, ink. It, it's okay it behaves so so it's not the best green ink out there probably but it's only one I have I quite like this pen um the clip is okay I'm not afraid of breaking this at all. Only downside is I'm not much of a fan of these, but it's workable. So, as for today's drawing, this will be a, a sine curve. I'm just kidding. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a terrapin. Lopsided nose. Slightly not very happy turtle.
go. It's a nice fine pen. Um, I wouldn't know where to get this. If I were to give you instructions, it would be, it would be like, find some old stationery store in Hong Kong and ask for fountain pens. I'll probably give you the Hero 616 or this. They're both fine, unless you don't like put the nibs, at which point, don't get the 616. This is a great, cheap alternative. Of course, if you found yourself in China, you could probably get this even cheaper and you'd have a whole lot more choice as well. But either way, I, I, I surprisingly like this pen. It writes like a pen. It feels very solid. Not likely to, not likely to bend, break this any, anytime soon. The snap-on cap feels very, very, very safe. It's not going to suddenly uncap itself and, and spill its contents all over my pockets or, 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 or pen wrap. And I rather like the whole body silver look. It's very clean, nothing fancy. So there you go, this is just a random cheap pen from China I happen to have, but also I happen to like a lot. The Wingsung 220. Any traffic? Hello? Wait, let me wait for the yellow light first. Or not. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about the Wingsung 220. Do I do another take? <laughs> 